What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. And I am very excited about this issue because we are diving into issue number one of Monkey Prince. This is a brand new DC hero and it is brought to us in a limited series. And I'm sure many of you are familiar with who the Monkey King is, also known as Sun Wukong, a legendary mystical figure best known as the main characters in the 16th century Chinese novel Journey to the West. And so with DC bringing us this brand new hero, one that is equal to the heavens, said to be better than his predecessor, the legendary Monkey King, even better than the Justice League and the Teen Titans. This is the introduction of Monkey Prince. A story written by Gene Yang. The artist is Bernard Chang. And be sure to buy the comics, support the industry. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue number one, I am freaking excited. This is going to be so much fun to see what DC Comics decides to do with the Monkey Prince. And our story it starts us with a boy named Marcus Sun. And when he was a young boy, the night it never really scared him. That was until the night Batman was in his house. And that is because his parents are hench people. They do this on a freelance basis, which means they are essentially for hire to the highest bidder, be it Mr. Freeze, Penguin, or any variety in between. They work for the scum of Gotham. And that is exactly why Batman is in their apartment this evening. But of course, the young boy Marcus, he doesn't understand this. He doesn't know who his parents are. He doesn't know who they work for. And so he can never properly comprehend why Batman would be in his house beating up his parents. Now Batman, he had no clue that there was also a child inside the house. As he quickly realizes this, he jumps out the window and lets them know to tell their employer that this is not over. And after all of that happened, quickly after all of it happened, they decided it was time to move. From Bloodhaven all the way to Black Cape. From Opal City to Keystone City. It would be in small moments where he gets scared. When the thunderstorms are the hardest. When the dark curtains, they blow in a certain way. It makes him think of Batman. It makes him think of that night. And so this kid Marcus, he has lived in fear of Batman showing up and hurting those he loves his entire life. But about a month ago, they made their way back to Gotham. And with Marcus now being in high school, he's back to being the new kid. And of course, the new kid, they always get teased. With the other kids pushing him into the pool, with him almost drowning, we're brought to the principal's office where we are waiting his mother to come and pick him up. That is when the wise janitor decides to chime in and give him a little bit of a pep talk. With the janitor introducing himself as Mr. Zhu, saying after the display he saw in the pool, he has a cure to help him out with all of his anxiety. Now at first this comes off a little bit weird, it comes off a little bit creepy. This weird old janitor guy just randomly walks up to him and starts talking. But we see this conversation, it is put off to the side with the arrival of Marcus's mother. With him wanting to stay at school so they didn't pick on him more for him leaving, that's where we pick up later on elsewhere in Gotham City. And we have the Penguin. And with Marcus's parents being freelance henchmen, they are here to help him out. With the two of them being very smart scientists, they are here to help him turn an individual financial advisor into gold. Losing tons of money for the Penguin, this is his punishment. And with them helping him, we see a golden demon released from a gourd. As it starts to take over the advisor, we see Penguin put a bullet in his head, stopping the possession. Because he believed it was just going to turn him into pure gold. Not really sure why of that, with Penguin almost putting a bullet into the parent's head, saying that if they weren't so valuable, he would have easily done away with them already. Now of course, the two of them, they told him prior to this that we don't know if this is going to work. 
but he pressed on anyway, and this was the outcome. Though I don't know how you would expect really anything else to come from this when you're dealing with an ancient demon gourd. But picking up at Gotham City High School, we have Marcus making his way to the janitor because now he is intrigued. The man told him that he had a cure for all of his wheezing and anxiety. And so he really wants to find out, how can I not be that way? And the janitor lets him know that you simply need to go to the pool. You need to face your fears. Because you, of all people, are not someone to hide from fear. You must face it head on no matter what the stakes. Of course, Marcus, he doesn't really understand any of this. But with there being a crowd of people nearby, he doesn't want everybody in the school to see him freak out yet again. And so he takes off. He goes home, and that's when we pick up the next day at school. While Marcus is sitting there in the classroom, one of his classmates, they get his attention to ask him a question. That question, what is that hanging out of the back of your jacket? As Marcus looks down, this is where he sees a tail. And as he runs down the hallway, the school bullies, they find themselves face to face with him, throwing him into a closet and beating him up. They leave him there calling him a freak. And after he has taken this beating, he finds himself back at the pool. And that's because he wants to face his fears. He wants to stop being afraid. He wants to stop having panic attacks every single time he faces adversity. And with that, we see him jump into the water. With him submerging into the water, he finds himself behind a waterfall. They are in the water curtain cave that they are in the home of his father, of his true father. And of course, that is the one and only Sun Wukong Monkey King. And this is where we see the janitor, aka Shifu Pigsy. And he lets them know that his world is in great danger. And to protect it, he must overcome all of his fears. And this is the day that his training begins. Putting the crown on his head, he sends him back. And from the pool emerges the monkey prince. Not really sure what's going on. Looking at himself, realizing that there is fur all over his body. And this is when a cloud begins to take him to the bullies. Because those bullies, they stole his shoes. And now it is time for him to stand up to them and get back what is his. And as he flies through the halls, Damien is getting on the horn with Batman and letting him know that there is metahuman activity going on and he needs to get here. And that metahuman activity is the monkey prince kicking these bullies butts. And we see a huge drastic change in everything that Marcus is. With him being cocky, him being arrogant, but also being able to back all of it up. And he beats the crap out of these guys. They do not stand one single chance against the Monkey Prince. And as he finishes beating up these guys, that is where we see the arrival of Batman and Robin. With Batman pulling out a battering, throwing it trying to hit his staff. Batman misses the staff and hits the Monkey Prince. And it cuts his head clean the heck off. As the Monkey Prince's head begins to spin, Marcus wondering why, why everything is moving so quickly, and Batman and Robin, they are freaking out because the Monkey Prince was just beheaded. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I think this is a very, very promising story, and introducing this individual into DC Comics has actual huge implications. Now, of course, I'm sure they're not going to use him in excessive amounts, because at the end of the day, he really is extremely powerful. Having 72 different formations can clone himself using his own hairs. He could very easily be one of the strongest members that DC Comics has introduced in years years. But it's nice to see the Monkey King story in some way, shape, or form making it into DC Comics. The artwork is absolutely amazing, and I think the story is very promising because we have an individual who is just absolutely terrified of Batman. Even as the Monkey Prince, that voice, that cape, that darkness, it makes him freeze up. 
That is the only reason Batman was able to get the jump on him. But learning his new powers, learning his new abilities, learning where he came from, his fear of Batman is going to end very soon. And it's also going to be very interesting to see what threat they are going to have to face and how much of the Justice League are going to fight by his side. Let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories, if you have not yet, please do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out, and until the next breakdown.